There is nothing in this world that brings me more joy than my sweet pup, Mr. Mud Pie. And for being such a good boy, I wanna make him a little treat, a homemade dog cake. What do you say, Mr. Mud Pie? Now I know dogs can't read, but I wanna make a cute bunting message that'll look super adorable in the photo I'm gonna take later of Mr. Mud Pie with his cake. The message I've chosen, who's a good boy? So first I need to print out this design with the help of my Canon PIXMA printer, which is great for both documents and photos and allows you to print on a variety of media like this Canon restickable photo paper. I also love that I can easily print wirelessly from my phone to the printer. So all I have to do now is cut out my designs. I also printed out some little doggy bones. Next, cut up some string a little longer than you think you'll need, depending on the size of your cake. I'm gonna do three layers of bunting, so I'm cutting three strings. Now I'm gonna peel off the letters, wrap them around the string, and press them tight to seal. Then tie the strings around the skewers. Then peel and stick on the doggy bones at the end of the skewers. Oh my goodness, this is the cutest thing ever. Okay, well, this and Mr. Mud Pie. This is such a great way to customize any cake message you want. The options are endless. Now it's time to make Mr. Mud Pie's delicious photo-worthy cake. This simple recipe is gluten-free, so it's easy for my pup to digest, but it is also decadent enough for any deserving dog, which in my opinion is every dog, all of them. First, mash a ripe banana in a bowl. Then add a couple of eggs, coconut oil, sugar-free peanut butter, and grated carrot. Then just mix it all up. For the flour, I prefer to use oat flour because my dog has wheat sensitivities, but totally use whatever fits your dog's needs. Just add this to the bowl, along with some baking soda. Then just mix it up until fully combined. Now keep in mind that this won't look like your regular cake batter. It'll be quite thick and dense looking, but do not worry, when it bakes, it'll be nice and moist. I have a nine by 13 baking pan here, lined with a piece of parchment paper. Just give it a light coat with some cooking spray. Then just spread out your cake batter. Make sure it's nice and even. Now I'm gonna put this in the oven at 350 for about 30 to 35 minutes. This looks so good. Okay, I'm gonna let this cool on the side while I make the frosting. All you have to do is mix plain Greek yogurt and sugar-free peanut butter. Just give it a good mix, and that's it. Looks like frosting. Doesn't taste like human frosting, but I'm sure he's gonna love it. Use a six-inch cake ring to cut out two whole rounds. Then for a third layer, cut out two half moons from the scraps. Place one whole round in the middle of a cake stand or platter, then spread one third of the frosting in between each cake layer, then spread the rest of it on top. Then top it off with the cutest cake bunting ever. It's cake time. Thanks for always being my very good boy. All right, time for a picture. Say cheese. How stinking cute. I gotta print a few of these for my dog loving friends. With my Canon PIXMA printer, I can choose this borderless printing option that'll print perfectly on glossy Canon photo paper. Such a beautiful print of such a beautiful good boy. I'm so proud. You know how people like to send pictures of their kids? I think I'm just gonna start sending people pictures of my dog, just because. <laughs> now go on and have fun using the Canon PIXMA printer to make this cake or any other one special and unique.